Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James, and this is Transformations. Today, I'm here with one of my oldest, oldest friends, Miss Squeaky Blonde, who is alternately one of the sweetest and most disturbing people I've ever met. What's your inspiration? Honestly, most of my inspiration is from the gutter, from hookers, from homeless people, death. People with AIDS. Oh, love it. That's really dark, girl. <laughs> you just find yourself cooking up these looks in your laboratory in the middle of the night. Is, is that sort of what happens with you? Yeah, and especially since I make no secret I love to be inebriated, it, it's, mm. it's part of that. Tell me a little bit about the process of getting dressed. I'll usually wipe the face totally clean and then start with the eyes and then just start painting around it and it just comes together. It's different every time I don't have a formula. So where is it that you find your skulls and chicken feet and all that stuff? And please don't say that you're out and back <laughs> slaughtering before you get ready for the night. I buy the chicken feet in batches from the Mexican market. Wait, you have like a whole freezer full of chicken feet? Yeah. <laughs> I, have I have drawers with uh, different colors and different nails painted different colors. Okay, and do you have like bones and things just lying around? If the police come and raid your house, they're gonna think that you're a serial killer killer. Tell me what it is that we're going to be doing today. Elegance and terror. Elegance and terror. I love what you do when I see you out. You've always got something really disturbing happening, something very surreal, but um, it's a little darker than I usually go. So I'm interested to see if you're going to take me to a dark place. I plan to. Squeaky's painting me black. What kind of paint is this? Uh, this is just a grease. Just a grease paint? Yeah. Is this racist? No. no it's, it's monster drag. This is the setting powder. It's basically like uh, like clown white. When you set clown white, you do yeah. clown white setting powder. So this is just black. But now, is, does this get inside all your clothes and everything? Uh, it, it, yeah. So I'm not going to wear my new McQueen suit with this. How long does it take you to get ready most nights? Between three and five. <laughs> three and five hours? <laughs> really? It's a process. We have to invoke a couple demons. <laughs> uh -huh. I sort of look like I'm in a scuba suit, too, don't I? So we're going to do... Um, a little tooth blackout on you. Mm, okay. Is that okay with you? Um, the, will they come off? That's the only rule of transformation. What is that rule? That I don't have to walk around with no teeth. <laughs> How long are your are? Okay. Just about, about 15 more seconds. Just keep it open as long as you can. Wait, did you see a straight thing? <laughs> wait, 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 oh, shit. Come back here, tell me what that was. I think you just used spray paint on my face. It wasn't spray paint, yeah. it's Jerome Russell. Uh, Jerome Russell, <laughs> I love that you've given me meth mouth. We took the last black grease paint, um, did all the way around the back. You turn to the side, we did uh, highlights with some uh, emerald green. And then we're just pulling the forehead down with some pink. Okay. And we're gonna go into the eyes and then kind of drip it all down. It just feels organic to just like pull it all forward and then you have- Start from the back and get progressively just, more intricate, I guess. Yeah, and you can, then you can pull it, you can kind of change the shape of your face a little bit by pulling it in. Perfection is not what you're going for. No, no. No, this is sort of whatever happens, happens. Yeah. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna go in and highlight both of your eyes, do some liquid gel liner. You put on a little bit of shadow first, a little bit of liner, and then you go in with the same grease paint and you just kind of like lightly... Dapple it. Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, Lip Tar. What is Lip Tar? It's concentrated color that you could use as a lip color, the blush or as an eyeshadow, and it's vegan. This one's called Butch. Butch, yeah, okay. And you're gonna make my lips butch? A little bit, a little butch. Okay, butch out my lips. <laughs> We did cut these out of some old film I shot. So you put an eyebrow on using spirit gum? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take the spirit gum to dry? Uh, about a minute. If you drop your purse at the club and your brand new Lancome eyeshadow shatters, you can crush it. And it turns into a nice fine powder you can use to dust to the edges. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it is, it's very demonic. Highlighting the nose, the bridge of my nose. This is gay beast. Gay beast, yes. okay. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's happening? Why is, it, why is everyone laughing? I don't like it when the stylists laugh. It's a gorilla foot. Oh, it's a gorilla foot? <laughs> I look like something out of a Beckett play. 
like some sort of post-apocalyptic like creature in a trash can. Pro tip, to make your gorilla toes have texture, slice them gently across the top. It's like octopusy. Oh, things are falling. Okay, so the last thing we do. It's called Augenblut, which translates to eye blood. It's eye like, blood, oh. It's theatrical blood for the eyes, so it's like, it's like Visine with blood in it. Oh my God, did you guys plan that you were gonna blind me? It's like I'm looking through red cellophane. Put some more stuff in. Okay. Thank you so much, yay, that was another successful transformation. Ah.